blood zombie. Can I actually go up these stairs? Good to see you. Did you get lost, Anderson? Be back in a GIF. Uh, what are you looking for? Wait, does that say models like cop, the traffic cop? Shock start! Thanks for the five years. Shit. I think I saw something. Welcome back. It'll only take a minute. And we're right on the new badge. Uh, I think we're landing Sally, it seems. Oh, another thingy here. Then this we already did. Alright, I think we've kind of explored everything we can for now. <clears throat> yeah, obviously some locked areas and stuff. <laughs> Can't go into the sheriff's station. Oh, that's the yo. This is the parking lot of the sheriff's station where Alice's. I wonder if Alice is gonna be in this game. Where Alice's um, they put Alice's driver's license in that like abandoned vehicle when they first taunting that they kidnapped her little one. How was your pee? Sounds like it's fantastic based on your mewing. License plate watery. Sheriff. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no. The Bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but... You can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. The sheriff looks like an We've actor. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. It looks like um, the fence was built just. I don't know after. the actor's name, but he's one of the guys in one of yeah, the uh, dark anthology that's games. Exactly right. Hmm. Forget which one. He's usually clean shaven, though. You can go ahead, Anderson. Was Alex Casey? We'll yeah, here. it happened. It just so happens he actually shares a name with him, Brocro. So it's, as far as the game said, it's a coincidence so far. Oh shit, dude! The diner. Damn, look how crazy this looks. Believe that happened. I still feel like I'm gonna be sick. Come on, Ed. Have some pie. Don't take your mind off things. Another bald guy. Another bald guy. The jukebox. Corpses are part of the job. Can't draw on it too much. The jukebox is out of order. The poor old thing can only take so much of the same song being played over and over. <laughs> I'm as big a fan of Coconut as the next person, but come on. Nice. See, that's like a little reference to the first game. That's funny. Put the lime in the coconut. This is exactly why you should keep it down. Keep it down, Ed. You know how touchy these rural types can be. Hello. Can we go to the bathrooms? Are you the bookers? back there. Hey, little one, come on. Oh god, dude. The fucking bathroom hallway. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, break room, employee room. Another one of these deer heads. Why she's so I feel with bad them? for these guys. Sean Ashmore, maybe? I, I don't know the name. That's what I'm saying. I have to see the picture. Or is it pronounced Ashmore? 
in this bathroom where the first game started. Can't open this with my bare hands. Sound design of this game is very, very good as well. It's just like a lot, a lot of little ambient sounds and directional sounds and stuff that really bring areas to, to life. Like even just this little like shitty rattling of whatever AC system they got going on here. Just makes you feel like you're really stepping into some like crappy old diner bathroom. dude mowing his lawn when we were walking around the street stuff like that here's a man with damn voice Conrad yeah Alex Casey's character is apparently played by the actor who did the Max Payne games Sam Lake is it Sam Lake excuse me I'm agent Saga Anderson are you the bookers that's us I'm Tammy and he's Ed oh officer just Saga is fine Ed so, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. <laughs> We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. Little one. Come here. Yes, 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 little one. It's okay, screw my lunch. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. Cops are wearing deer masks. Why do you think it was a cult? What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, cult of the tree, the cult of the tree. Hmm. Why, why are they the a cult? Oh, oh, and then we found them. The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. Hmm. Screen pulsed. Ah, we can profile. Cult of the tree. It's a cool picture. The cult of the tree. What are the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finder's keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? Prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake oh, maybe of they have bolt cutters book. Can take. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. I have enough to upgrade one of these two if we want. <clears throat> We'll have to do a little combat first to see. Might give us an idea. Point of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired uh, to chart collection progress. Right Falls area. The 
Bright Falls Park. <laughs> this one should be up here. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The Cult of the Tree. Cult stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Damn, they had ammo in them. Uh, this one was in... Cauldron Lake area. Huh. A lockbox of cult supplies. Something useful. Some useful things in there. Cult of the Tree. Background case accumulate. Background cases accumulate clues about broader, ongoing topics. I need to know more about the Cult of the Tree if I'm going to shut them down. Oh, I see yours. To stop a cult, we need to understand them, their ideology, their goals, their members. What kind of cult? Find evidence. Who's involved? Find evidence. Cult gold. Talk to someone. Hmm. Cult psychology. Find evidence. Triangle graffiti found about town. Thanks, Saga. Cult symbols. Find evidence. Large amount of supplies laid out on the table. Out there. Out there. Huh. There's a lot of equipment just laying around. How long have they been out here? They're hiding their faces. They aren't established enough to operate openly. Connection to Deerfest? Graffiti is in plain sight. Does this have a deeper significance? Triangle figures made from twigs. What's the purpose? Marking territory? A warning? Feels decorative. That feels derivative, like something out of a horror movie. Huh. Ah. I think you found something. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. I told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have right, any Rose. questions. Rose. <laughs> like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. She uh, had. It's not the same Rose as the first game, right? Her name was Rose. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. What the fuck? How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She... Drowned your daughter. Bro, what the fuck? That's so weird. You don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. Ooh, I'm getting the chills. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. A little weird to go. Her name is the the one in the first game was Rose as well, right, Chet? Go to the sheriff's station now. Okay. A cult murdering a man is pretty extreme. Why didn't you tell the police what you saw? We did. We told those two idiot deputies. They didn't listen. 
And they wanted to throw Ed and I in jail for that murder. You know, Bright Falls is just Alabama with bigger trees. <laughs> this is my case now, and no one is throwing you in jail. If you need anything else, just come to me. Got it. Thank you, Saga. Ah, the saga continues, Chet. We're gonna need to start a counter for that joke. So, we're not being arrested? We're all good, Ed. You can ease up now. God. Hey, you think they serve avocado and toast to you? Ugh. Yeah, no, I wouldn't count on it. Avocado. <laughs> well, like avocado, no. Thank you. So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. So we Seen been, anything so out of the ordinary before. in town lately? Apparently. Suspicious people in deer masks? Oh, no, no, no. No She's one's suspicious. She but picked someone that soon looks enough, like there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be wearing one. Good to know. See, chat Rose seems hot, but she seems like unhinged. It's like the like the don't stick your dick and crazy thing, you know. A little sketcheroo. Hi. Hi. Is there nothing else changed here? She came out of here, right? We don't remember her past? Uh, it's possible. We think that we just look like someone she thought, but the fact that she mentioned her name and daughter is what's... Question mark here. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Well, I'm so sure Let's they modeled go. this guy off of that actor. From well, Casey, okay, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna see one of those things where like all these people we're working with, some of them are, are part we? of the cult or something at that. Played some D and D back in the day. D &D. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> too true. More the merrier. It is the same actor? Is it voiced by him, too? What a random cameo. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? True. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. It always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible, but it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Yep, yep. Just here to pay my ticket. Another Whenever bald guy to take my with money. a mustache. Uh, no kill the Joe, make you, some mo. Sir? This is the some third time this please. week I'd come in for a late shift and there's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Uh, re re not your personal assistant. Chad, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beard to make effective <clears throat> use of beard oil. I know Marco's beard was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Uh, since my numerous friendly uh, reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've seen, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you've received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. Admin. 
UPS Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. Reminder, the front desk computer and admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business, and to remember to wash your coffee mugs, admin. Hey gang, the annual event you all have been eagerly waiting for uh, is upon us again, the Community Outreach Barbecue. Now I won't, don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that officers who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts. More uh, are more effective in their po policing and have better overall mental wellness. This is for your benefit, so take it seriously. The community voted dunk tank victim this year will be, drum roll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations. Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, A. Eh? Friendly reminder that anyone out on sick day needs to provide a written doctor's note. You'll be assigned night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies all to complain uh, about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. Tim. I'll just take some ammo. El yoink. Has your loved one gone missing? Chat. The sheriff's station map. Y'all got one of them maps. Lower floor. They expanded the station a bit. The stairwell wasn't here in the first game, I don't think. Or the morgue or anything. Hello. Is somebody gonna pick that damn phone up? Agent. That's me. Don't mind me. I'm just yoinking some ammo. As you know. The investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Breaker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Fucking Nelson, dude. He's always out of line. Adventure oh, tour. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. Are these the new uh, Night Falls tapes or whatever? Oh, dear. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only I had a tour guide, also. Bear season. <laughs> 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 Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Costello Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Mil Mokoskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. But this isn't That's Canadian. At Koskala Brothers tours we say but the government <laughs> the bear <laughs> oh wow you think of everything and we'll take you anywhere hiking through the scenic elderwood national park fishing in the crystal clear waters of bright falls dam the norwegian Bird not a real fish Lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermo. That was, that was badass. I'm happy we're exploring. <laughs> where they're waiting to go downstairs. Check the other side. Should be where the jail cells are. Bald guy. There's gonna be a drunk guy here this time. It won't open.
I know one of you stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff's station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds much like sounds like you got too much time on your hands. And lock up an innocent man. No drunk, ain't drunk guy this time, I wonder. I swear I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're a lying bunch of bastards. You believe me, right? He's got, got a cozy double cell. Can't go outside. Oh, that's the dodge. How's the game so far? Very good. I'm like really into it so far. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns and he's away this week, but you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Something about more. I feel the same. Sweet. Wait, a cult necklace. Where is it? I need bolt cutters. Gold of the tree necklace on bookers at Colden Lake. It's a yummy steak in Discord. So many bolt cutter doors. Got in there. Probably a nice round of um, loot and supplies once we find the bolt cutters in the game. Nothing in here, chat. I bet you there's ammo there on lower difficulties. I'll never know. Take first aid courses. Someone's life might depend on it. Taking a few first aid courses. In my time. Hello, Officer Hottie. She looks a lot like the model of the sheriff from the first game. I wonder if that's on purpose. It doesn't budge. Oh, no, dude. We're going to have to come down here at creepy time at night. All these areas are, like, so chill. Well, the forest was a little creepy. They're so chill, but I know there's, we're gonna have to backtrack through these a lot. It's gonna be fucking night and enemies and shit. Okay, let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external event, yeah. inspection before performing the internal examination. Yes, the external inspection of is there loot around here? 